Okay, what's up everyone? Uh, uh, my name is Darkling3100, or in prison chat on Twitch. I'm gonna do a tutorial on uh, the tweak glitch. Um, this is done on Desume, Desumume emulator, but it can be done on the DS version or 3DS. This works on both Diamond and Pearl version. The Platinum version I think you can tweak, but uh, it gives you mixed results and you don't get the result I'm going for in this tutorial today. So the first thing is I'm pretty sure everybody already knows about this trick, but the one thing you need to basically like learn how to do is the movement. So how did I do that? <laughs> And I'm actually surprised in myself I got that first try. That was not, I didn't expect to do that. But yeah. So, this is the void. Um, first off, you know, you, you do the movement, you get this, and you can go in it, you can do whatever. Uh, you can, like, just um, about do anything, really. If you open up the Pokemon bag and reset, you can be, like, in the ground, and it's funny. Uh, but yeah. I'll, I'll go into more in depth about how that works later. So, right now, um... Yeah, so I see a lot of people, when I was first learning this and I was looking up videos, a lot of people were questioning, like, what are you doing wrong? Like, why can't I do this? So, the first thing off, it's not as easy as it looks. Like, this isn't easy. Like, I don't know how I'm getting it that consistent. But anyway, so I'm going to show you the movement, like, in slow. I can't really slow motion this because I'm recording this off uh, Twitch. But, um, so... The whole trick to it is, is that you have this like very, I'm going to say like it goes up to like right here. This amount of room. Maybe it could be even a little bit wider than that. I would say like one more score up, but that's about it. So you have all this room right here, right? What you want to do is go up here, go here, go left, right, and then straight across in quick succession. So, yeah. It's really hard to even do that. Like, oh my god, I'm getting consistently. <laughs> Like, it's crazy. So, the way to do it, like, I can't really show it since I don't have, like, a controller cam. <clears throat> but, like, it's just the movement. And if you, okay. <laughs> I'm actually glad that happened. So, if you do happen to get it, you can crash the game if you land here. Like, if you go down. Just, that's just a warning. But I'll go into more how that works later. Okay. <laughs> so, this is really, honestly, this is just, this is just hard, you know, like, to get this it's really hard to get this kind of movement down especially like with this game because it's Pokemon you're on a little bicycle and yeah anyway so the way I practiced it for myself like to learn it I would start right here that's kinda why I have a save state right here um so you can just go up and then do it look at that that's nice <laughs> um yeah but you just wanna practice this I guess you can go around practice it I personally didn't didn't do that. I kind of just went up every time and tried to get it, because you know why bother doing it anywhere else. So anyway, so yeah, like people. Okay, so you gotta just get it right here. If you get it down here, you'll crash the game. I think you can actually get it like right here too. Anyway, so if you don't happen to get like left right, there is another method to do this that I've actually seen like work out a few times although it's not you know gonna be 100% I kinda just flail the joystick or not the joystick the d-pad when I get over here it gives me the same like uh, the quick the quick turn or whatever but I'll go in like a direction I'll go like up a little bit up which is okay because you can go a little bit up like as I said before you have I don't know if my mouse is on the screen okay yeah you can have a little bit of room to do that but not too much like you don't want to go shoot up way up here or way down here uh... warning if you do kind of flail it around you can risk risk the chance of going down here and freezing it <laughs> so yeah um... that's about all of the details about the trick itself like you know just it's just grinding this like you just gotta grind this like I I had so much trouble with this and I even got some weird results okay so the first time I did it I thought I had it but I came over here and I just hit like an invisible wall I don't know what was up with that but yeah I couldn't even like progress I didn't have the black line I just had like an invisible wall uh, as I said before if you go down here when you try it it'll crash the, your game so just just be careful about it it's all just practice you know just practice the trick like that's all you gotta do Okay, so 
I hope you guys understood that much. Like, it's honestly, you just gotta practice it and you'll learn. Like, that's how you, that's how you, that's how you do this. You, you, le you learn. Like, I still learn new methods on, like, how to do this. Um, if you don't like this method in particular, there are other ones. I don't really perform them. I don't really know how to perform the other ones, though. Just because I figure that this is the fastest one. And it's also the easiest, in my opinion. Like, once you practice it and grind the shit out of it, it's easy. There are other ones in which you can, like... There's also, like, different movements in here that I think that you can go, like... Like, if you do this fast, you can do that. But, personally, just, just don't try to do anything crazy. Just do left, right, left, right. That's all you need to do. Um, there is, like, another one where you have this slow bike and you go down here. And you do some weird stuff and you can do that. But this one is, in theory, the fastest. Not even in theory. It's just flat out the fastest. Since all you have to do is go bam bam and then get it. Okay. So, I hope I describe that enough so you guys can understand. Um, anyway, so how do we get, now this is, there are many different outcomes you can get with this glitch, like there's so many different things you can do. So, let me just, uh, get my route up again, cause, okay. So what you wanna do is you wanna have the, you'll always have the poke catch up to this point, uh, or whenever, and no matter what, you always have this one right here, it's the, uh, the step counter. And believe it or not, this is actually really helpful. Like, <laughs> it's so bizarre how crazy that, like, you know, if this thing wasn't in the game, like this thing, uh, who knows where this game would be at? Like, cause this, this next, these next like forms of movement are very specific. So it's just like a miracle that you have this. But I'm guessing, like, I don't know. <laughs> it would have been really hard to keep count. So, yeah. All right. So what we want to do here, this is actually really easy now, is you want to enter this building over here. And the way to do that is you go 20 over here, 20 steps. So just keep your eye on the counter or use that little, use this sign right here and know your like distance. So that's 20 steps. Now you want to go up 10 to 30. You can go slow. There's no, there's no, you know, there's no rush. Now go five to the right and then three down. Press start, enter your Pokemon, or think Pokedex, but I always just use Pokemon. Press that, press B, and then press it again, and then down. So here you are. Press down one more. Okay. So, yeah, just do all of that. It's a very simple movement, you know, none of this, like, is, there's no, there's no trick, there's no, like, tricks to this. Let me see if I have a save state. Yeah, there's, like, there's, like, really nothing. It's just movement, you know. Yeah, see, it's really easy. That there's, it's just so straightforward. Okay, so here we go. Um, now this, now as I've said before, okay, from here there's many different outcomes you can have, such as getting Darkrai, such as getting Shaman, which are event Pokemon, and I think for the events you needed to get like a specific item from GameStop or something, and you could get them that way. But you could also use this, and you'll teleport to wherever those items like took you for it. So. Yeah, I think Darkrai, there's like a route that goes over here and does some crazy stuff, but this result will get you to the Pokemon League. Um, so yeah, this movement is kind of specific again, like it's there's always going to be specific. If you mess up a little bit, you will kind of want to just restart, so just, you know, just be careful. Um, but yeah, I'll go ahead and just do it now. So remember, you have the clock counter, just use this to your full advantage, this is your friend. Like, this is the best thing in the game. <laughs> so, yeah, alright. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go left 17. Like, there's more than one way to, other than using... I use a visual cue sometimes. Like, I'm going to, like, one square off of this. I don't know. Anyway. <clears throat> so now go up 30 to 31, which also is, like, right here. Like, you want to stand like, right here perpendicular <clears throat> anyway and now we're gonna go walk to 101 the reason why we're not using the bike right now is because we can't we're still in the building metaphorically so just go to 101 take your time if you so desire now we're gonna use the bike and now we just ride to 447 um, use the quick bike just to speed this up because this can get pretty tedious 
So once we get to 447, as you can see, we're kind of just going through snow and stuff. Really cool. I love this about the glitch. It just makes it look all broken and you're destroying the game. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So to 447 we go. Take your time. There's no rush. No hurry. And save and reset. So, um... You can do a quick reset by pressing L, R, select, and start on anything you're on. If you're using game, uh, your 3DS, DS, whatever. Or in my case, I'm using a controller. <clears throat> and it's just, it's not really necessary. It's just like the fastest way to reset. So, Okay, so once we start again, we're going to go left some more to 785. The reason why we save is so we don't like get stuck. Um, I don't know too much about this game, so I'm not going to tell you guys like a bunch of backstory about this trick or like how it works all together, since, you know, I'm just a person that learned the game, uh, but, you know, I'm just trying to explain this for those who kind of get it already and they just want to do it, so this is, this is the best way I can try to explain. So now we're going to go left to 785, you know, take your time, no matter how fast you want to go, and then, you know, just practice this again, just grind it as much as possible, same as with the tweak glitch. 785, then we go down to 2434 or 2435. It can depend. But this one, I actually think it's 2434. This is a very specific point to which you must go right. So just test it out. <clears throat> I always use 2434 to turn right. <clears throat> and when I say the numbers, I mean I'm using this, the, the step counter. That's when you want to turn. <sighs> so yeah, we're just waiting. Uh, yeah. Um, this is always first. This is always amazing. Like the first time we're doing it, but after a while, I was just like, "Oh my god, I wish I can go faster." <laughs> so just be careful. You just gotta hold down. That's all you gotta do until two, four, three, four. Um. Yeah, you just you know don't press any other buttons. Don't get freaked out or anything. Cause <laughs> to be honest, like in a, in an actual run, this is actually really tense. Like believe it or not, you can feel like the tense intensity like on your hand like don't press anything else <laughs> anyway <clears throat> so once we hit the two four three four we're gonna turn right to two four five two or to two four five three uh, you'll know when you hit it when you enter a doorway and which you just don't want to once you enter the doorway and you're forced to go upwards that's it just save reset like you'll know when you hit it like your character will be forced to enter the doorway that, so you, that's when you know you got it. <clears throat> so you can see, like, we're just going through all these different mystery zone, Juba life, all this crazy stuff. <laughs> <clears throat> Be careful never to stop, because if you stop, you can freeze in your spot, and then you have to restart the whole thing over again. It's just like one of those things you'll learn about it. So, two, four, three, four. Okay, so once you enter, it was 2453 in my case. So, you know, just save reset again to reload the actors or whatever it is. I'm not really sure. Save reset, and then we'll go up to 3424 or 3425. I don't know why these numbers can change, uh, but that's just, I don't know. That's probably because I'm on emulator or I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so once you do that, just go up. Now, there are two doorways you'll enter. The first one is you'll hear the same thing, like you hear the Pokemon League theme. Don't press start, say reset there. You want to you want to do it on the second door you enter. If you do it on the first one, you'll go upwards, and then you'll be forced to stop in your tracks. You'll, like, encounter a trainer battle or whatever, and uh, you will be forced to... The game will crash. So, yeah, just be careful. You know, just take your time. 3424, that... Or 3425, those numbers are relatively, uh, you know, correct, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. So, really, all this is now is just waiting. We're almost there. I think th somewhere around 3,300 is when you hear the first door. Like I said, just be careful. Don't say reset there, because that one's bad. So, almost there. I think we'll hear the door, the first door, any second now. Yeah, that's the first one. Don't save reset. Go up still. Not done yet. Alright, three, four, two, four. Or two, five, whatever. Okay, now we save reset. 
this will be the last save reset, so <laughs> don't worry about it now. We're done. This is the last one we gotta do. <clears throat> and once you do this, uh, this is it. You'll have beaten the game. The, the game will auto-scroll you to the end, and that'll be it. Um, I always just kind of hold up just because, I don't know, that's just me <laughs> being paranoid. <laughs> but I'm not even touching it at this point. So there you go. You enter, you hear the Hall of Fame music, and you talk to an invisible Cynthia and Rowan <laughs> for, like, just, I don't know. Yeah, but it's amazing how you just skip everything with this trick. Like, I'm still, like, uh, my mind is blown by this, so, <laughs> yeah. The timer in a speedrun would stop as soon as you enter, so right now. <clears throat> And that's how you beat this game. Uh, that's the tweet glitch. I hope this uh, tutorial was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, I'm willing to help any way I can. Um, if you're interested in like learning the game fully, there's not much to it to be completely honest. It's just getting Chimchar and beating the game to Gardenia. And then once you get the bicycle, you're able to do the tweak. Uh, I do have speedruns up on my YouTube channel or on my Twitch channel, whatever you're watching this from. Um, so yeah, there you go. <laughs> you beat the Pokemon League with a level like 26 Pokemon, I think it was. <laughs> so, yeah, um, that's about it, though. Um, yeah, so you just get the credits and you've beaten the game. You've completely just broken it, so congratulations. <laughs> there are a lot of other glitches in this game to speed up the speed run. Uh, one involves actually changing the in-game clock timer when you start the game. Uh, that lets you have a specific trainer ID and also generates perfect IVs for Chimchar and a perfect nature for the speedrun. Also, it will grant you hidden power fighting with max attack power for it. Um, I can't really do that because I'm on emulator and the way I, uh, the way it runs is kind of weird. Uh, there's no real way to go to your DS menu in this. I've heard that you can like, you know, record a movie and have that set your timer, but it just doesn't work. I don't know, that's just my problem with it. I don't really care though, I kinda just like playing this game for casual, it's like a casual run, you know, it's fun. Uh, it's really easy, once you just learn Tweak, you know, like I say, just practice it, you will get it eventually. And, um, you know, just, just take your time, there's no rush with it, really. And then once you get more, you know, sophisticated, you can with it you can just easily get it fast and you can you know do this trick really easy like in this tutorial I don't even know how I managed to get it so many times <laughs> to be fairly honest because you know most of the time it's luck I'll admit but you know you'll just get used to it over time like when I was learning this okay you can stop watching the video I'm just fucking talking but <laughs> like when I was learning this game all I did was like I'd practice it a couple times a day you know I'd just get it you know I just practice working with it Getting the movement down, finding a spot. That spot I had in the beginning. I mean, we don't even need to watch these anymore. Uh, like this spot right here. Um, technically just the easiest way to do it. Like I just like this because you have full momentum for it, which I don't think I explained earlier. But uh, momentum does kind of affect like your way of when you can do the little perfect thing like that. But it's not a big deal, but I just like starting right here. You can start anywhere, and if you do miss it, like, I'd recommend that if you don't want to light it up, you can hit this pole, which will give you the perfect, like, alignment for it. So, yeah, uh, I'm having trouble getting it now, but that's, that's all good. <laughs> anyway, so I guess, hope, I hope, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, I hope it was helpful, and, uh, yeah. If you have any questions at all, anything, anything, let me know. I'll be glad to help any way I can. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's been way too long of a video. I don't even know why I grew this long, but Jesus Christ. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video. Thank you guys for watching, and good luck with your runs or whatever. Meh.